Tip number one, getting started. First off, you'll likely spawn on a planet with some sort of environmental hazard that your spacesuit will need to deal with, and finding protection before it gives out might be tough. Look for sodium because that's what you'll need to recharge your suit. But regardless of your spawn planet, it's worth your time to check the guide. And while you're in the menu, you might as well take a second to adjust your settings. Try out the third and first person views, then head into the options menu to adjust things like your preferred unit of temperature. Understanding the basics and having settings in a comfortable spot will minimize confusion. Tip number two, save. You'll want to develop the habit of saving any chance you get. Luckily, there are multiple ways to do this. At some of the planetary structures, you'll find a beacon that when activated will act like a save point. Another way to save is by crafting a save point, which you can unlock after finding buried technology. Lastly, and maybe the simplest way to save is to hop in your starship, then hop right back out. Taking a couple extra steps to save is worth it because trust me, nothing hurts more than an unexpected death that causes you to lose half an hour's worth of work and materials. By the way, make a habit of using the menu to quit the game. It'll tell you how long it's been since your last save and potentially help you avoid losing valuable time and resources. Tip number three, gather, gather, and gather some more. You'll be gathering resources constantly, which means you'll also be doing a lot of inventory management. You can buy inventory slots, but fixing broken structures and equipment found on planets can reward you with a slot as well. Side note, as you explore, don't forget to identify things. Each new discovery will earn you units. Plants will earn you a couple hundred, but animals will earn you a lot more. If you find yourself low on resources while in space, don't forget that space junk isn't necessarily junk. Shoot those asteroids that have been wrecking your ship. They'll likely net you the materials you need, plus some extra materials like gold and silver. Tip number four, quick cash. Speaking of valuables, there's plenty of ways to make quick money. But one of our favorite ways early on is to find one of those creepy egg-covered broadcast stations. Bust open some eggs and grab the contents, but do it quick because first of all, they'll disappear in a few seconds. Secondly, you've just awoken a swarm of nasty aliens, so you'll want to get out of there ASAP. Don't worry though, all you need to do to get away is to jetpack up on top of the station. The swarm can't get you from there, and you can wait till it subsides to grab more eggs or kill the swarm off from above. Either way, each egg is worth a small fortune, so farm them whenever you can. Tip number five, talk the talk. As you explore, you'll come across monoliths and alien artifacts. These will help you decode and understand alien languages throughout the universe, and conversing with these aliens will work to your benefit. Monoliths are the important ones, but around each of the monoliths, there will also be a few alien artifacts, so don't forget to grab those. Oh, and when you get to your first space station, make sure to talk to everyone. It seems to be good practice to talk to everyone anyway, because you never know what message they may be trying to get to you. No Man's Sky is an adventure you're in charge of from the very beginning. Explore with friends or on your own. Discover, collect, destroy, build, and of course, customize. The possibilities are pretty much endless, so long as you've collected the right resources. The universe feels so enormous and the scale feels so real that it's enlightening and humbling. Plus, the transition from planet surface to atmosphere to space is something you just need to experience for yourself. But keep in mind, the stars can't shine without darkness. So keep a watchful eye as you explore No Man's Sky. Like and share if you enjoyed the video and think others might benefit from this. And of course, subscribe and hit the notification button if you are new to the channel and want to be notified every time I post a video.